Hello YouTube, Subaka here, and today I'm going to show you how to defend yourself from hackers in Watch Dogs Online Invasions. I'm currently ranked in the top 1% for online hacking, and my defense is listed as very strong, so I hope this tutorial will help you achieve similar results. Now without further delay, let's start at the beginning. When you're vulnerable to invasions. Basically, you can be hacked anytime, anywhere, unless you're in a hideout or in an activity. Activities include searching for online contracts, main missions, side missions such as gang hideouts, and Aiden's memory cutscenes. Also, when you hear this sound upon nearing a potential crime, you are safe from invasions. Otherwise, if you're in single player and have completed the Introduction to Online Invasions mission, in which you have to find 2x the tap before he hacks you, someone can invade your game and attempt to hack you. However, your vulnerability also depends on how often you yourself invade other players. After a good hacking spree, I often find myself being invaded up to three times in a 20 minute interval, but on the other hand, I was able to play for three hours without a single invasion after being away from Watch Dogs for two weeks. Finally, remember that being successfully reported by a Bloom agent and receiving a bounty will greatly increase your chances of being hacked. Checking for invaders is an essential process in defending yourself once you know when you're vulnerable. It allows you to know if a hacker is in your game before you're notified, giving you time to prepare and find him. One way to do this is to turn on your profiler and leave it on whenever you enter a vulnerable state. If an invader enters your game, the profiler will usually shut off automatically, as you can see here in this game clip. Another way to check for invaders is to periodically pause the game and see if the background is still moving or not. See how the pedestrians are frozen here? That means there is not a hacker in your game. Compare that to this clip, in which you can both see and hear the background continue to move although the game is paused. This means there is an invader in your game. The final method involves randomly using focus. Here, there is no hacker in my game, and you can see how focus slows down time. But when I am being invaded, focus only makes the borders flash without distorting time. Dealing with hackers is obviously the most difficult aspect of this tutorial, but there is a method you can follow to make it easier. Watch the gameplay as I explain the process. Once you know an invader is in your game, open the map and attempt to fast travel to the nearest hideout. This will instantly notify you that you are being invaded and display a Shit, circle on your map. A fixer on me. I need to handle him right now. If the name of the invader is not given yet, you should put distance between yourself and the circle. Open your profiler and scan the nearest civilian. Since it says, not the hacker, I know the invader is a hacker. When being tailed, the profiler says, not a threat. I'll go over that later. Pause. At this point, I can only explain how to identify and find the hacker. Your course of action in actually dealing with him may vary. While making this video, I would just try to snipe them as soon as possible, but you don't have to do the same. Thus, the following tips are merely to help identify or find a hacker during each stage of an invasion. Unpause. I'm going to switch to this gameplay clip in order to better explain my preferred process, which should only be done if the invader's name hasn't been displayed. Try to get at least 200 meters away from the circle, preferably with a vehicle. The police need more information and access of these cyber- Be sure to keep it within a thousand meters or the hacker will be able to fast travel to you. Once the hacker starts coming towards you, the circle on the map will begin moving progressively closer. Now you can pick out your target simply by looking for things out of the ordinary. Check for civilians or vehicles that walk, run, or drive erratically. Invaders usually spawn in high-end cars or motorcycles, so pay attention to those as well. You can also raise a bridge between yourself and the hacker. Any vehicle that jumps the gap is your target. With some practice, you'll begin to see how most invaders stick out from their surroundings. But let's say you were unable to identify the hacker and found yourself in the next stage, where you are given the invader's name. This means that your phone has been hacked and the backdoor installation could be initialized at any second. While waiting for that to happen, the best thing you can do is profile civilians, check possible hiding spots, and continue looking for suspicious things. Make sure you stay in or near the circle, as staying within the target's vicinity will give you more time during the hack. If the circle disappears before you identify the hacker, it means that they have initiated the backdoor installation. In a few seconds, you'll be notified that someone is trying to hack you, the circle will reappear on the map, and the progress bar will begin counting up. Again, the best thing to do at this point is to get inside the circle, scan civilians, scope out possible hiding spots, and watch for peculiarities. The real search doesn't begin until the hack hits 25%. Keep an eye on the circle and watch what happens at 25%. 
See how it not only shrinks, but also shifts to the right? That just showed me where to look. In fact, the closer a hacker is to the edge of the circle, the more it will shift in his direction at 25, 50, and 75%. Conversely, the closer a hacker is to the center of the circle, the less it will shift in his direction. You can use these observations to narrow your search area and find a hacker more quickly. Here are a few more examples of the circle shifting, but from a hacker's point of view. One of the most common tricks a hacker will use in hiding is to go somewhere above or below you, such as a rooftop or tunnel. This can make finding him very difficult, but there is a counter trick. Look here how there's a train station in the circle. If I want to know whether the hacker is on the street or up in the station, I simply need to run outside the circle and see where the objective icon is. The elevation of the hacker will match the elevation of the icon. Use this in conjunction with the circle movement to pinpoint the location of an invader. Even if you know almost exactly where a hacker is, it might still be difficult to locate him if he's in a hiding spot. You will learn of many such locations through experience, but here are some places to always check. Bushes like these are very easy to hide in and make you virtually invisible from the outside. If you suspect an invader is hiding in one, try running through them to see if you bump into anything. Train stations provide several hiding spots as well. Hack any train stopped on the tracks in case someone's hiding on board, and check the roof for both hackers and access to nearby rooftops. Other than that, spots to check include cars, parking garages, boats, shops, backyards, dumpsters, freeways, bridges, tunnels, alleyways, ledges, rooftops, stairwells, shipping containers, dark areas, the inside of buildings, or just crouching behind something or being in the plain open. If that list made finding the hacker sound really difficult, just remember that you can use my tips to get a very good estimate of his location. Also keep in mind that you have quite a bit of time to find the hacker, in which the circle will continue to get smaller and you'll rule out errors you already checked. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Finally, don't forget that you can activate one jams comm to pause the back door installation, giving you precious time, and using cameras can help check large crowds or hard to reach places. This tutorial is based on hacking defense, so I only mentioned tailing once. You can use basically the same process against tailors, but keep in mind that their objective is only to stay in line of sight to you. They are less likely to hide and there is no circle shrinking to help you find them. Thus, staying away from the circle, constantly moving around, and looking for suspicious movements are probably your best bet to find them. And there you have it. I've done my best to try and explain the process of online hacking defense, from the very basic to the most complicated aspects. Remember that the best way to get better, besides watching this video, is practice. Also, training your offensive skills by hacking others should greatly increase your defensive skills as well. Finally, don't forget that failing to stop the hacker before he reaches 100% isn't a big deal. You lose no points, and you may even learn a new spot to use against others. Good luck, have fun, and thanks for watching my tutorial. Bye.